The Highway Morning Show, outfitted by Watsonada Western World. Good morning to you. Fish and Jeremiah here with you. And we are pleased to be joined over on the West Jefferson Chevrolet Buick GMC listener line right now. It's Speed Weeks, and we're uh, joined by a driver of the number 10 Smithfield Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing, Mr. Eric Almirola. Eric, I know that's hard to get some used to saying that, right? <laughs> Coming over to a new team. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's uh, the good news is, is the Smithfield Ford Fusion part is uh, consistent for me over the last six years, yeah. but yeah. Uh, the, the one thing, uh, the one thing I got to get used to is uh, the number ten and Stuart Haas Racing. There well, another thing for you to get used to, Eric, is obviously the equipment. You you are familiar with the Ford platform, but you're going to to Stuart Haas. Some new equipment, some new setups. How has that adjustment period been for you so far? Uh, well, it's still really early, um, and but so far so good. We had a test in Texas earlier this year, and that went really well. Um, and we're off to a good start here at Daytona for Speed Weeks. I feel like uh, qualifying went well. We've got really good speed in our car, and now it's just uh, you know getting ready for the get ready for the duels and and see if we can advance our starting position for the Daytona 500. Of course, the duels coming up tonight right here on Highway 106 and 1023. Eric, you're going to be rolling off seventh in Duel One coming up tonight. And speaking of getting used to, I know that uh, uh, drivers get used to coming down pit road and looking for a certain number. Is there anything special that your team's <laughs> doing for you to make sure you don't pull in that 43 box one more time? No, I think they've just got a really bright number 10 sign there for we me. Go. Uh, and they're going to have to remind me a few times to make sure I stop on the 10. There you go. <laughs> they're cooking some Smithfield Country ham in the pit box. Yeah. You just follow yeah. the smell. Just follow the smell. Yeah. See where the smoke's coming from. Eric, you've got some new teammates uh, this year for you. Have you got to talk to, to Kurt and Kevin any about uh, the setups, uh, the racing at Daytona any, and, and how welcoming have they been for you to be their new teammate? Oh, they've been incredibly welcoming. Uh, I've been I've been really happy uh, joining Stuart Haas Racing, and to see the the level of engagement that the other teammates have, it's uh, it's been really nice. And so to have that opportunity to have you know such incredible teammates with champions like you know Kevin and Kurt and um, you know Clint, who's had a lot of success. So. I think uh, having that at my disposal and being able to lean on those guys is going to be something I've never had in my career, and I'm looking forward to it. Of course, your, your teammate Clint Boyer, your, your, your boss is Tony Stewart. Kevin Harvick's been known for sh- some shenanigans <laughs> as well. Any initiation pranks that's been going on with you, Eric? Have, have they brought you into the to the group? Not, not yeah. yet. I'm still waiting. I've got my guard up. Okay. I'm ready. All right, then. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you, Eric, about your strategy going into tonight's duels. You know, qualifying not so much of a premium at a restrictor plate track as it, as it is at other places. Do you have a strategy that you and your team are, are going for tonight? Are you going to try to work your way up front and stay up there? Are you going to try Absolutely, to ride Absolutely, yeah. We want to go okay. win. You know, yeah, we want to we want to show the other guys um, at here, here at Daytona that we've got a good car and that we've got a fast car, and we want to go put ourselves in position to win and get a better starting spot for the Daytona 500, but also, when you run up front and run good in the duels, it, it makes everybody else in the garage area aware that you've got a good car. And when they know that, when you go to make a move in the Daytona 500, they're more they're more likely to go with you because they know that you've got a really fast race car. Well, you're going to have uh, some help whenever you roll off tonight. Your teammate Kirk Bush going to be starting in ninth, right behind you there. Uh, you're a winner at Daytona, Eric. I mean, is it is it still give you chill bumps to to say, hey, I've won at this at this track before? That's so synonymous in NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, winning here in the Cup Series in 2014 was, you know, probably the highlight of my career so far. And then uh, to, to come back here a couple years later and win an Xfinity race. And uh, if nothing else, I know how to get to victory lane when the race is over. So, yeah, um, yeah I, th- I think uh, it gives me confidence. And, you know, I feel I feel good when I come to Daytona. At first, it's, it's home for me. You know, I grew up in Tampa, Florida, two hours away. So I always enjoy coming here. Um, you know, I, I remember what it was like coming here as a kid and dreaming about uh, having the opportunity to race here. But then to, to be able to, you know, call yourself a winner at, uh, at this racetrack is pretty special. I just want to win the Daytona 500 now. I've won, <laughs> I feel like I've won everything else. I want to win the Daytona 500. Well, kind of, kind of to draw off of that question that I asked you, you, you won in 2014, and we've seen a number of rules changes and all kinds of stuff go through NASCAR since then. But does your strategy for trying to win, does your strategy for that race, does it remain pretty constant, though, even though we've seen all these rules changes? Yeah, I think your strategy doesn't really change a whole lot. You know, you, you just you learn to adapt. You learn to adapt for, with all the changes. There, there's always changes, whether you're changing teams or rules changes through NASCAR or whatever. Um, the only thing the only thing constant in life is change, yeah, and yeah. so uh, so you just learn to adapt. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be an interesting, fun race this Sunday at the Daytona 500. Eric, we wish you the best. I've got a question for you. You're known as one of the nicest guys in the world of NASCAR. <laughs> and yesterday was Valentine's Day. Yeah. You've you got, you got a great wife. you got two wonderful children. Do you try to, to sneak away with a wife and, and get some uh, relationship time in, or are you too focused on the race and say, honey, we got to put this off to later? <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, racing uh, racing takes precedence once the season starts. We got we had a lot of quality time together over the off season, but um, yeah, Valentine's Day, and, and you know, I, she's in North Carolina with the kids, and uh-huh. they've got school, and I'm down in Daytona getting ready for the Daytona. Daytona 500. So I had flowers sent to the house and uh, left her a card. <laughs> there so you go. Hopefully, hopefully that'll suffice. Maybe you can bring her a trophy coming up next Monday. That'd be <laughs> that, nice, that'd wouldn't it? That'd be nice. I think she'd be okay with that. Uh, well, I saw over on your Instagram page, your, your daughter's kind of getting a jump start on, on uh, celebrating uh, a victory lap uh, there. So I saw her going around your neighbor. I guess that was your neighborhood with a yeah. checkered flag yeah. on her bicycle. She looked like she was getting ready to celebrate. Yep, she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> well, Eric, I'll get you out of here on this. Real fun question. Me and Fish all the time when we're talking NASCAR on the air, talking about, man, we wish NASCAR do this or if we could do this or that. If there was one rule you could change in the world of NASCAR, an institute, an Alma Roller rule in place of it, what would it be? Uh, just, um, you know, I, th- I think – looking at the schedule better um yeah, you know i yeah. think uh if, if i had my way I, I love racing i as far as the rules go i'm not smart enough to figure out what's best uh for, for rules packages and things of that nature but i do know um just from you know being in the sport as long as i have and you know having the crew guys around and stuff that uh if, if we could you know if we could do something to, with the schedule to where we could allow some you know more time at home for the mm-hmm. family and and if we could uh you know make it not from you know the first week of february to the middle of, of november it would uh it, it would keep us a lot fresher and and you know it just wouldn't be such a grind for the schedule but it's hard it's hard because every racetrack we go to and, and every venue we go to the fans are excited to see us and we've got big crowds and a lot of viewership so um trying to trying to navigate that for nascar i realize is a big challenge yep it'd be nice to get some more of those uh, north carolina tracks back in the schedule well you'd be a little bit closer to home right eric <laughs> hey i wouldn't complain <laughs> there we go, man. It's driver the number 10 Smithfield Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing, Eric Almirola. You'll hear him roll off seventh tonight in Dual One down at Daytona International Speedway. Eric, we wish the best of luck to you. We're going to be pulling for that number 10 car tonight, okay? All right. Thanks, guys. It's the Highway Morning Show outfitted by Watson, not a Western world.